Welcome back to Chokitibo Media. This is an update on the current situation that happened in Bangladesh. You remember the fall of the government that we reported on August 4th, 2024. You remember we reported that Sheikh Hasina, the Prime Minister, ran away why the protest reached our doorstep from the students trying to show their annoyance to the prime minister but now the military has taken over and now the student have demanded that uh, a new civilian man should be the head of the interim government and the man in question now is muhammad yunus you know muhammad yunus Okay, if you don't know him, check on this channel. There was an exclusive uh, broadcast that I made on Sheikh Mohammed Yunus himself and his travail from the hand of the government that has just fallen. Mohammed Yunus had Nobel Peace Prize and is set to lead an interim government in Bangladesh following the removal of the Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina on Wednesday, Mohammed Yunus, expresses eagerness to assist the nation in navigating its current challenges. He said, I am excited to return home, access the situation, and figure out how we can unite and overcome the difficulties we face. He shared this with the reporters before catching a flight. I'm excited to return home. To assess the situation and figure out how we can unite to overcome the difficulties we face. He shared this uh, with reporters before catching a flight from Charles de Gaulle in Paris airport to Dubai where he would then get another connecting flight to Dakar. As he made his way to the boarding area, he maneuvered a small wheeled uh, suitcase and uh, waved farewell to the people. The renowned microfinance innovator will take charge of the interim government after the, uh, the long-serving and uh, authoritarian leader, Sheikh Asina, left the country. The swift appointment followed a call from the student leader for the 84-year-old Yunus, who is, a celebrated, who is celebrated for helping millions to escape poverty in Bangladesh. To step up as a leader, Hasina 76, who held power since 2009, resigned on Monday amidst a massive protest in Dhaka where hundreds of thousands demanded our departure to leave the country. Kudos to the students, kudos to the protesters and the army of Bangladesh. And may God Almighty forgive the souls, over 300 of them, that died in the hand of the police. And I hope one day, Sheikh Hasina should be brought to book and the police that assisted in him killing these people. I hope and I believe one day they will be brought to book to answer for the sins they've committed against the people. And at the same time, they will face it in front of their God Almighty for killing innocent souls. And we're using this opportunity to wish Muhammad Yunus all the best in this new appointment to organize the country. Can you see the way the table now turned around? When the cat was chasing the dog, everybody was shouting. Now it is the time for the dog now to come back and take his rightful place. Well done, Mohammed Yunus, the founder of Grameen Bank, the microfinance bank. We wish you all the best. But don't be like the rest. Don't be like the other leaders all over the world. The bad one, the bad example that we are seeing currently today. This is Chucky Table Media. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Love and like and share this information and pass it all around the world. Don't forget to put on the notification button as well. God bless you as you do. See you next time.